Possibly I'm the oldest in the room. <laughs> I've never done a slam myself before. What I'm going to try tonight is to get you understanding the role of plants in the big carbon cycle. You just remember the meeting last week? Finished, it was all about CO2. Could you all please touch your nose? <laughs> now, if you take the water out, 50% of your nose is carbon. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, take the water out, 50% of it is carbon. What is this? Carbon. Well, take the water out, 50% of this is carbon. What is this? A newspaper. 50% of this is carbon. We are living in a carbon world. Half of your body, if you take the water out, is carbon. Now, for most people, carbon is coal or diamonds. Just think of your body consisting by half of diamonds and carbon once you took the water out. <laughs> Now, how does carbon ever make it? How does coal ever make it to get into this lattice? <laughs> well, you know, I assume there's no biologist in this room and you never had any chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell you that, that what we call carbon can be an invisible gas that you cannot smell, and we call it carbon dioxide. That is CO2, you know, C. Oh, and like this. <laughs> you don't know that. Now, plants take up that carbon, fix it, and grow. But there's a problem. As you all know, there's more CO2 in the atmosphere than we ever had as far as we know. And that's a problem, and it drives the, the climate crazy. But not everybody agrees on that. <laughs> he doesn't like that. <laughs> you, you know, he remembers when Father Bush was campaigning for president. <laughs> I remember well. We were told that trees will be growing four times as fast if just people burn enough oil, Texas oil, and coal. <laughs> it will be a glorious future. Deserts will be greening. It will be a greening of planet Earth. Copy. <laughs> I have something for you. This is your food for today, for tomorrow. What is this? You want me to eat sugar? Well, it's clean sugar. It's just carbon, just oxygen, just hydrogen. I will die if I eat that only. Well, Cabri, that's the same with plants. If you feed them with plants only, they're going to die. So what people have been thinking that elevated CO2 in the atmosphere is great for the planet, will relieve the atmosphere from CO2, is not going to work. Uh, why that is so, I, I probably need to take that. Why that is so is, uh, you know, when, when this lettuce grows, or when any plant grows, this is like building. You take blocks of life, which we all have learned somewhere, and these are cells. So you put these all together, and the lettuce grows. Now, let's just move to this side and let a house grow. So we take these heavy brick stones, and we put them here. <laughs> and then we have another one. And of course, we need something else. What else do we need? Well, we need some mortar. Mortar alone will not do. We may need some timber, some iron, but it will all not work. <coughs> Something is missing. The bricklayers, the masons. You know, if I go to this side, I would say the enzymes and chemical elements other than carbon. But on this side, we just put the mortar, we put the brick, and now the question is, how fast is that ha the house to grow? What is it? that controls the speed of house growing. 
Well, you could say it's the rate of delivery of bricks. I'd say, are you stupid? It's always the masons. It's always the beer. It's always the enzymes on this side. So what we learn from that, you cannot build a house from bricks only. And it's not the brick delivery that controls the speed by which this house is growing. Now, this means that this lettuce is not growing by sugar. You can only put sugar, that means carbon, into that, to the, to the amount of other elements than carbon that are contained. And what is it? I brought a few <laughs> just to make sure that this lattice is not just carbon and water. <coughs> it sings like this. It's nitrogen, it's phosphorus, it's potassium, it's manganese, it's molybdenum. And if one of you has no selenium, you wouldn't be here. So the simple message is, you need a lot of other things than carbon to grow a lettuce. And that's the reason why CO2 is not going to drive the planet into a greening world. You are just, <laughs> yeah, you are just disillusionating me. But, you know, you just said that CO2 in the atmosphere is also warming the planet. And people are polluting the planet with nitrogen. And we just learned nitrogen is needed for growth. So if it's going to be warmer, if there's more nitrogen, trees will grow faster. And trees are 90% of the global carbon. And if they grow faster, there will be more. Well, Carby, you're in good companion. Just over there, we had a meeting. There are several experts there. There are prominent papers in Nature, PNIS, and others. They all make the same mistake as you. They all confuse the sales with capital, the growth with storage. And I'd just like to make my case a bit more illustrative. Just for a moment. Now, this is my business, guys. It's a small bank, but I can't hold that microphone because I want to show you how the money flows in and how the money flows out. So I don't know whether this works if I put it here. Maybe it works. So we have... Oh, that's great. So we have money coming in and we have money going out. And we have money coming in. Uh, you notice it's whitewashed money. It's not black money. <laughs> so we have money coming in, money going out, in, out. And I can fasten this faster and faster and faster and faster. So the carbon cycle, you see the carbon cycle? It's a minute. And the carbon cycle tells you that there's no capital here. But I cycled so much carbon. But I brought some capital. So here is my capital. And now the same again. Carbon in, carbon out. In, out, in, out, as fast as you like. The capital did not change. You got the message? The flow of carbon, the flow of money, is not telling you what, what amount of carbon will be stored in the biosphere. So, Carby, you got the message? I think I got it. It needs more than sugar to be happy. <laughs> and I think I understood we should not fool ourselves by taking sales for capital. Very well, Carby. For that, I have something special for you. <laughs> Isn't that great? So this is, this is for Carby. Now for you, the take home. Home message. Ah. <laughs> has it. Mouse, for you, the take home message is indeed don't get fooled. Don't ever believe that you can grow from sugar only. And just like you, no plant can grow from sugar only. It needs chemical elements like phosphorus, manganese. They all don't drain from sky. There's no way without adding them that any plant on this planet can grow faster. And second, never. Also privately, I suggest you confuse income with capital. <laughs> Sales with capital. 
Never confuse a growing tree with a storing tree. It just goes in and goes out. But there is one limitation to the analogy of my capital. Well, if I'm the still the banker and my capital can rise almost infinitely, well, that's not true for trees and forests. They only, they don't grow to sky. They have only, and there's not something else for you. you there's something else for you, so. Uh, thanks. <laughs>